Where's Ken? I think he's out back. What are you thinking about? Remember that time I brought Michelle here for dinner? Sort of. It was a couple of years ago. Dad liked her because she talked a lot and she was so pretty. Mom didn't like her at all. I remember she asked me if Michelle was really Japanese. She said she didn't act like it. She didn't like Carl either at first. Did you ever see those Japanese movies where the parents arrange marriage for the children? Couples don't even know each other night before they marry. They're scared to death on the wedding night, then one day something bad happens and they fall in love. Maybe that's what I should do. What do you think, Mimi? I think that this is not Japan, Bocha. Carl and I have been together for five years, and before that I knew him for four. Sometimes working together makes it hard because we get on each other's nerves, but sometimes it's really nice, you know? Huh. Anyway, I never wanted to marry someone where I didn't know what he did for eight hours a day. I guess it's hard keeping a relationship going. When I did drugs, they used to depress me because they wore off so fast. The feeling wouldn't last. And everything will return to normal. What are you talking about? Nothing. Anyway, what would you say if I did that? Did what? Married a girl from Japan. Well, I guess it would depend on the girl. Yeah. Joko, I'm sorry I didn't pick you up tonight. I had to go see my family. It is fine, Mr. Ken. I rode the bus. Oh, yeah. This postcard came for you. What's it say? Who's it from? This is from my family. Oh, yeah? What do they say? Are you interested? Yeah, I'm interested. Go ahead and read it. Uh, they say they miss me and they worry for me and they hope I am enjoying American ex experience. Well, that sounds good. My mother say uh, it is very hot in Japan and rain very much. And she said she, she hope I can come back for Obon. What's so born? Um, it is time when Japanese children visit their family and they make holes with vegetables so uh, ancestors come down and get on the holes to visit us and at the end of the bone we burn it so um, smoke with the smoke, ancestors go back to the heaven. Mm, that sounds good. Maybe we can go there after we get through immigration. I could borrow some money from my sister. Mr. Ken, it is difficult. That's just a thought. I still think you should think about what we talked about. Staying married. Mr. Ken, I would like to sleep with myself tonight. Please. Are you sure? Yes. Okay. No problem. I'll watch some video.
It is better. Our marriage is temporary. I cannot blame Mr. Ken for my situation. He does not understand me, but it is not his fault. I cannot speak my feeling in English. He cannot speak his feeling in Japanese. You ever have tuna sandwiches? Yeah, it's good. Make sure you take the lettuce out. Your sister drives a BMW. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice car. How come she yelled at you? I don't know. She's always been like that. Very emotional, you know. I wish I could get married. What? I like going to movies by myself. You're lucky. Or maybe. But you know what Bob Marley said? No woman, no cry. You've got it made, Ken. I'm so sorry to have kept you waiting. I'm so sorry to have you kept you waiting. Please come right in. Please come right in. Say, Ken, do you have the first Backstreet Crawler LP? The band or the Kasa solo? Solo. Yeah. How about loaning that to me? It's out of print. I'll tape it for you. That'd be great. There is some gut-wrenching guitar on that LP. Yeah, Kossoff was great. Too bad he died. Yeah, he's in rock and roll heaven with Jimmy. Excuse me, but do you guys know how to talk about anything but rock and roll? What, what else, else is there? Nina, what did you think of that last one we did? Good, real good. It was an original. Mm-hmm. Honey, you don't seem very supportive. I'll get more enthusiastic when you get more successful. Mm -hmm. How did someone intelligent like you ever end up going out with a guy like Richie? We used to go to the same laundromat. Hey, please, please. Do you mind if we don't talk about my personal life? Oh, sensitive. No, Marky, I'm not sensitive. I just think we'd be a lot better off talking about the band, okay? Isn't rock and roll kind of dead? I mean, it seems like you'd be better off getting into some Ornette Coleman, harm melodic jazz or something like that. I mean, that music has a lot more potential. Well, Nina, the problem with that is that you have to know how to play to do that kind of music. お茶がなくなっちゃったからお店行って買ってくるけど、なんか欲しいもある。
どうしたの私も英語喋るの疲れちゃった no, I can't speak Japanese. 私は日本人なんだもの日本語喋りたいわあなただって日本人でしょどうして日本語喋れないの All right, Mrs. Nakamoto, I have a few questions here that will assist us in ascertaining the legality of your marriage. Please answer truthfully and remember that any discrepancies in your answers can and will lead to your immediate deportation. Is that clear? Please answer yes or no. I understand. Very good. Now, please pay attention, Mrs. Nakamoto. What color shirt did your husband wear yesterday? What kind of toothpaste do you have in your bathroom and who purchased it? How many pairs of shoes does your husband own and where does he keep them? What is his favorite food? Hamburger. What is your favorite food? Italian food. Name the members of your husband's immediate family. I have never met. Macaroni and cheese, any kind of Mexican food. And what is her favorite food? Japanese, I guess. Well, she has a mother and a father, but I'm not sure about the rest. We haven't talked much about... You've been married for two months, and you don't know the members of her family? They're in Japan. Mr. Nakamoto, some of your answers contradict what your wife said. Well, what do you expect? Her English isn't that good. Hmm. In addition, you were unable to answer several of the questions yourself. How do you explain that? Certainly, you do not have a problem with the English language. We are married. That is still in question. If you insist, we can recommend an additional interview, possibly at your place of residence. I don't care. We are married. You can interview us as many times as you like. You will be notified. It's just that some of those questions were the hard to... The interview is over. Please take your forms and return them to the clerk. Kyoko, why are you taking your bike? I can pick you up after work. It is not necessary, Mr. Ken. Are you sure? I'm fine. Please excuse. I have to go to work. Okay. I have this ant farm at home, you know? And last night I jumped and all the ants got together and rebelled. They pushed the lid off the ant farm and started throwing my furniture around. And the whole apartment was full of giant fire ants. They were really pissed off. They were like a red menace. Oh, no, thank you. Well, I was talking about a uh, dream, you know? Sleep, dream, um, you met. Yes, I had a dream about Japan. Mm. You were homesick. My grandmother used to get homesick. Your grandmother came from Japan? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah, she always wanted to go back, but she never did. Too much Nihonjin pride. You know what that means? Pride? Hokori. Um, yes. Japanese are very much pride. Yeah, I guess we do. 
You know, Kyoko, if you want to go home, you should. I will stay in America. Okay. Already? Yeah, see you later. Okay, Jeannie. Take it easy. Bye. Man, I just have such a crush on her. Did you guys go out? Nah. We hung with different crowds. You know, she was in the key club. Now she's married to some big shot real estate lawyer. Look at me, I'm still a fucking Manju man. What's wrong with that? Yeah. Yeah. At least I don't uh, have to listen to a bunch of suits when they tell me to breathe, huh? Fuck. Should have made a move on her. Yeah, maybe I should have. Hey, Lane. You want to see a picture of my wife? Yeah. She's really Japanese, huh? She looks fine, though. Don't screw it up. Dear Chikako, how are you and your family? I am fine, but many things have happened since I wrote you last time. Do you remember the Japanese American man I told you about? He is dead. It was great tragedy, and now I am too sad to stay in the United States. I will return to Japan soon.
Dear Mr. Ken, I'm sorry I have to leave because I cannot be a good wife for you. You are very nice, but I cannot stay. I hope you find someone and will be happy. Goodbye. Don't be down. Love, Kyoko. I've been thinking. How would you like to come and work with Carl and me at the travel service? Thanks for the offer. I don't think so. Well, you don't have to answer right now. Think about it. You want to tell me what's been going on? You don't have to, but I'd like to know. Maybe later. Thanks for the tea. Sure. Mr. Rockway was looking for you. Yeah. I'm working on the ventilation system. That's good. You should take it easy, Ken. Lambert, do you ever think of going back to Hong Kong? Taiwan. Well, Taiwan then. When I came to the United States, I never thought I would be working a job like this. Five dollars an hour. I thought I'd be rich by now. So? Can't you go back? It's too late to go back. If you stay too long, you have to stay too hard to go back now. Well, maybe you'll strike it rich someday. That is propaganda put out by rich people. To get poor people to work for no money by spreading those stories. You should become a musician. One hit record, and you got it made. You are not as smart as you look. How many Asians you know would hit records? Well, you could be the first. Dear Mr. Ken, I took package tour to Yosemite National Park. It is very beautiful. I think you would like the natural setting. Now, I am in Japan with my family and friends. They are happy I am back from America. How are you? How is your rock and roll band? If you want to, you can write to me in Tokyo. Your friend, Kyoko. <laughs> 